the show in and of itself does not exist without walkers and the threat of walkers in the apocalypse. So sitting in a hair and makeup chair for three or four hours was now something that we did not feel comfortable doing. We're also limiting the number of walkers that we have on set per day because we all knew this going in, the writers were able to write scenes that played to that. You know, it's not like we've written a scene that requires 200 extras and we can have three. Everything was written to very intentionally to be COVID friendly and to work within these parameters that we currently have. One of the things that's come out of um, the COVID shutdown is that Greg Nicotero, he developed some new ways of dealing with our walker makeup. Him and his team came up with an entirely new way of designing the prosthetics and the applications for the walkers. Pretty much right out of the gate, I started thinking about ways to streamline the process, but make the process more user-friendly, not only for the makeup artists, but for the performers. Thinking about what we were gonna do in terms of making sure that we were gonna be able to continue to maintain the quality and the level of what we come to expect from The Walking Dead, but do it in a safe way. I think people would probably have a hard time grasping how much artistry and how much time goes into making every single walker look just perfect. We have to figure out how to do that stuff faster. If we can minimize the number of pieces that we have to glue onto somebody's face, we can cut the makeup time down. So we ended up doing two-piece prosthetics, one that was a top of the head and down into the front of the neck and shoulders. And then what we would do is we'd glue a face on top of it. So you'd put this on, and that on, and that was it. We could get the makeup time down to about 45 minutes per walker, which is almost 50% what we would usually do when we were dealing with zombies. Greg has been really, really innovative in thinking about, okay, here's the problems of doing this, and this is what we can do to make sure that we do it faster, safer, smarter. We hired a company that screen prints masks, and we screen printed zombie faces, full heads, onto pullover spandex hoods and gloves. The performers would show up on set, they'd be handed a pair of gloves and a mask, and we'd stitched snaps into the spandex. So if we wanted to put a wig on, we could just go and snap a wig on. You could get within five feet of them and you wouldn't know the difference because they turned out that good. It was really a revolutionary breakthrough in terms of how we can deal with background because you would never ever have to touch them up digitally. You'd never have to worry about somebody's makeup not looking right. Also, at the end of the day, they take the mask, they take the gloves and they throw them in the washing machine and they wash them. Creative people are creative. If there's any superpower that we have as people that are making television or, or movies is that we're supposed to think of out of the box ways to do things. And so I think you've really seen people stepping up to figure out how to make these processes possible at a really, really difficult time for everyone. It's interesting what happens when you're faced with unique challenges, how new ideas are born. New techniques, new technology become something you can lean on to achieve what you used to do differently. Necessity is the mother of invention, you know. We were forced to really rethink how we were gonna do things, and I do think that this advancement in how we approach things is gonna work not only in The Walking Dead, but it works on fear, it works on World Beyond. Each set now is gonna benefit from this one advancement. In some ways, because we had the shutdown, he had the time to really like think about these things and just come up with new techniques, which I'm so impressed by and so grateful for. I was really, really proud uh, of what we were able to do over the summer to preserve what, what, in my opinion, is a very, very important, important part of the show, which is the, the look of the walkers.